Hey YouTube, it's Allie, also known as Allie's Books and Creativity. It's been a while. I was dealing with something that I couldn't record, so I took some time off. And <coughs> as you guys notice, I am getting rid of a cough because I was a bit under the weather last week, but... I am here to record today. I feel great. My cough is going away. And I'm doing a weekly readathon for you guys. Today is Tuesday, February 27th. The time currently on my watch is 6:57 p.m. <laughs> 2:27 6:57pm. 7 7. One more seven would have been heaven, but. I don't think that would happen unless it was like 2027, but it's not yet. Um, I can, I'm going to tell you the books I am reading right now and the books I will choose to read. It will be throughout like me being the mood for, I am reading one physical book that I'm almost completely done with and I'm listening to one audiobook on audible. And then I think I have a few that I have on my Audible I want to listen to next. And Audible, I'll be listening to like, you know, if I'm cleaning or I'm exercising or I'm cooking because I personally with me, when I'm moving around doing stuff, I feel like to get stuff done, I have to have an Audible in. An Audible or music, something like that. So, other than that, let's get started. The book I am completely almost done with is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is a, why is there a piece of paper on my book? It is not part of the book. It, it's like a fuzz of a paper. What the freaking heck? I gotta vacuum again tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Can I just put that on my floor? All right. I think I know where the paper came from. Came from my backpack, but that's okay. Um, This is a mystery, mystery thriller with a crime mystery in it. It's about a character named uh, Cassie. She is selected to solve crimes with the FBI and the FBI chose her to solve these cold cases that had never been solved and it gets really interesting and I already have book two already to go which is Killer Instincts and I have three and four on my shelf so I'll be reading those probably more likely and listening to audiobooks as well so the audiobook if I can show you do, 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 without giving away give away anything, it is "When You Wish Upon a Lantern" by Gloria Chow or Cho. If it's Cho, I'm gonna laugh because that is the name of my dentist. <laughs> but I think it's Gloria Chow, the way it's pronounced. If I'm wrong, please comment below. Because if it's Cho, I'm going to laugh. But I think it's Gloria Chow. And I'm really liking it. I'm halfway done with the book. And if I was re-listening to it um, in regular speed, I would be in the three-hour range. But in 1.5 speed, I'm only two hours and 22 minutes left in the story. And it's really good. It is really good. I am liking it. It's like a friends to lover story. The last one I listened to was by Ollie Hazelwood. And that was Chuck and Me. And that one was uh, Enemies to Lovers. And that one was really good too. It was stuck in my head for like th two, three days. I couldn't let it. I didn't want to let it go. I would wake up and be like, oh, I just want to listen to Chuck and Me. And I'm like, wait a minute. I finished it that feeling so yeah you know what I mean cliffhangers book hangovers you guys know what I mean all right other than that I'm gonna 
how am I going to word this? I'm going to physically read the naturals before I go to bed tonight. The time right now is 7.03 p.m. I feel like I talked to you guys long enough just so I can start reading. And I'm going to make myself an Arnold Palmer. Half tea, half lemonade, sugar-free. So I can enjoy a little beverage while reading. All right. Talk to y'all later. First of all, you probably want to know why there's something in front of me. It's a stuffed animal, but it's technically Sonic the Hedgehog. I have an obsession of Sonic and Pokemon. This is from my Pokemon sleep app, so I can record my sleep. I made a boo-boo and I sat on it, so it almost recorded me sleeping when I wasn't sleeping. I was going to start recording the video. So, oops. Surprisingly, it still works. My bottom didn't break it, but okay. Now let's get to the books. Hey, YouTube. It's Allie, also known as Allie's Books and Creativity. It's been a while. I was dealing with something that I couldn't record, so I took some time off, and <coughs> as you guys notice, I am getting rid of a cough because I was a bit under the weather last week, but I am here to record today. I feel great. My cough is going away. And I'm doing a weekly readathon for you guys. Today is Tuesday, February 27th. The time currently on my watch is 6.57 p.m. <laughs> 2.27, 6.57 p.m. 7.7. One more seven would have been heaven, but I don't think that would happen unless it was like 2027, but it's not yet. Um, I can, I'm going to tell you the books I am reading right now and the books I will choose to read. It will be throughout like me being in the mood for, I am reading one physical book that I'm almost completely done with. And I'm listening to one audiobook on Audible. And then I think I have a few that I have on my Audible I want to listen to next. And Audible will I be listening to, like, you know, if I'm cleaning or I'm exercising or I'm cooking. Because I, personally with me... When I'm moving around doing stuff, I feel like to get stuff done, I have to have an audible in. An audible or music, something like that. So, other than that, let's get started. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. The time is 7.07 p.m. I've got to reset my watch because I don't want to see that notification. I don't know why it popped up. So, back to my profile um i finished today the naturals by jennifer lynn barnes i have it a weird in a weird angle this is a first book in the series four book series of the naturals it's a mystery like i said and oh my gosh that ending that ending was nuts I'm not going to go into detail. If you haven't read it, pick this up. Pick this up. Um, I do have, if I can reach it, I do have the second book, Killer Instinct, ready to go. And I have my bookmark in there ready to go. But since I have a lot of cleaning to do before I can sit down and read... I'm going to listen to my audiobook, When You Wish Upon a Lantern by Gloria Chow. I think that's how you say her last name. <coughs> and um, I'm going to um, listen to that while cleaning and getting stuff done. And then I'll sit down and probably and start reading Killer Instinct. That'll be my next physical read. Other than that, I would say with the, with the rating of the naturals, I haven't updated my Goodreads, but after this recording, I will update my Goodreads. I would give this a 
mm, probably a 4.5 out of 5 stars or no, a 4.75 out of 5 stars. It was really good. It was really good. There was just one frustrating part I felt like should have been in this book. It, I felt like, come on, get to the mystery already. I get to start solving the mystery. Not play these type of games. But, yeah. And I just dropped my book. Dang it! I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. Whew. We're back. Okay. I do recommend this book. I'm hoping book two will be a five-star read. That would be awesome. So, we'll see. But right now, like I said, I'm going to listen to my audiobook and clean and go from there. And I'm going to charge this tablet a little bit because it's at 31%. I don't want to record almost to a dead battery. Other than that, I will update you guys either later or tomorrow. All right, later. Boys still have cooties. Maybe that's why she feels so comfortable objecting to you and Kai. Or, I guess, maybe it's more your father. I squirm even. I'm embarrassed. So I ask, hoping to change the subject. Truth or dare? Truth. I ask something I want to know, but would never have the guts to ask otherwise. When did you know? The time is 8.39 p.m., um, I listened a bit of the audible When You Wish Upon a Lantern by Gloria Chow. I'm really liking it. I have like an hour and 50 something minutes left. I think it's an hour and 55. I think. Let me see. Is it an hour and 55? Oh, no, it's an hour and 46 minutes left of the audiobook. All right, I'll return to that tomorrow. I am going to now start Killer Instincts before I go to bed tonight and go from there. This, I'm going to start book two in the Natural series. All right. I will record again sometime tomorrow. I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, also, I'm going to have, since this recording started Tuesday, the 27th, I'm going to have the recording end on Monday, March 4th. So yeah, you know, and around late at night and then go from there. And then I will edit the video and upload it then. All right, I will record and give you guys an update tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh goody, I have some juicy updates for you guys. It is Friday, March 1st. The time is 7.44 p.m. And I was away yesterday. I was very busy and I just had a lot of things going on. So I couldn't record, but that's okay. I couldn't record on leap day because it was a very busy day. But I can record today. I read a little bit of Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, book two of The Naturals. I am on page... I am on page... 50. I don't know what chapter is. I haven't been paying attention. I read a little bit of that. I didn't have time to read this because I was so busy. I was just like, whoa. But I did listen to the audiobook and, and drum roll if you guys want to make one in your own background of behind the screen, you know, be my guess. I finished listening to when You Wish Upon a Lantern by Gloria Chow. Yes, I finally how to say got I finally got to figure out how to say her last name. It's Chow. Not the same as my dentist's last name, but um and I don't know why my phone took a screenshot. I already have a screenshot of it. I will be updating the updating the review on Instagram later. I already did a Goodreads update. Um, and threads, I'll be doing an update too. So yeah, I also have threads. So my threads page is the same name as my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there, be my guest if you have threads, I'm right there. My threads is slowly getting more followers. I get followers like every couple days now. Instagram is about... I think Instagram is used to be every day, but then it slowed down because I now try to watch 
who I follow and are they safe to follow because don't need to go into the detail right now, but just things had to get handled. But um, other than that, when you wish upon a lantern, I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. I would say that's my second favorite contempt. No, not my second. It is my third or fourth favorite contemporary. The first one was an audiobook. It was uh, Check and Mate by Allie, ha Allie or Ollie Hazelwood. If it's Allie, that'd be cool because my nickname is Allie, um, like you all know. And um, my second is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. And the third book, Love and Olives. I didn't like the second one that much, but it was just okay. But, um, so if I had to go by ratings, I would say first is Check and Mate. Second is Love and Gelato. Love and Olives. When You Wish Upon a Lantern. And Love and Luck. Those are my top five for this year so far. Those are the five contemporary reads I've done so far. So I've read three physical contemporary and I listened to two contemporary audibles or audiobooks, whatever you call it. Audible, audiobook, whatever platform you could have audible, you have hoopla, I don't care. Um but the main two were on Audible. Um I am gonna take a little breather from the audio audiobooks right now and, and I'm gonna listen not listen to what is wrong with my vocabulary and brain today i'm sorry guys i had a little lack of sleep last night it wasn't bad and i got a notification okay it wasn't bad but um i was just very drained so i had an interesting week there was just these mean people just walking in Saying, hey, guess what? Here's an insult for you. And I'm like, oh, thanks for the insult. There's the door. Don't hit your bum on the way out. Because I don't do mean, I don't do meanness. I don't, because God don't like ugly. I'll tell you that. God don't particularly like ugly. So, I don't appreciate mean people. I don't appreciate bullies. They are not welcome in my, in my life. I only allow Happiness and positivity. That is it. That's my rodeo. So, while I update you guys again, I don't know if it's going to be tonight. It will more likely be tomorrow. If it is tonight, kudos to you. You get another video. But I am going to read more of Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I want to try to get to page 100 before Sunday. And because I do want to lay low on the audiobooks for the remainder of the night and go from there and just read a physical book. I just want to relax and try to escape more into reading and escape reality. That's what I need right now. So I read, been reading mysteries right now. I just finished a contemporary on an audiobook form. Now I'm going to go back into a mystery story. Because I feel like I need some mystery solving to do. I just need to go to that world right now. All right. Other than that, I will update you all later. And I'll see you in a bit. It is Saturday, March 2nd. The time is 5.44 p.m. And if you live in America like I do... Happy Read Across America Day and happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. If you guys know, Dr. Seuss got me into reading when I was very little. I was into reading since I was four years old. And Dr. Seuss and Marie Sendak were the two books that got me into reading. Um, should I get this angled right? I have read a little bit this morning in celebration of Read Across America Day. I read a bit of Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I didn't have time to read yesterday night. I had to 
have a few conversations with a few friends, so I couldn't read. But I read today. I am on page... It's at a weird angle. I'm sorry, guys. I am on page... Page 62. I think it's chapter 8 or chapter 9. I'm not sure. I know I saw chapter 8 or 9 somewhere. And... I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. I probably would say so far, since I'm in the beginning, it's hard to say. I can't just say, oh, I like the first book better than the second. How am I going to know? I'm on page 62. I still got more into the story to go for. Um, I have ribs in the oven. It's going to take about an hour and a half, two hours. <coughs> and... Still getting over this cough. It's getting a lot better. And um, later today when I do chores, I'm debating what audiobook to listen to next. I'm probably going to either listen to P.S. I Like You by Casey West or The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. So it's going to be one of those two. So we'll see what I'm leaning towards to listen to. So other than that... um. I will also listen to it while doing some roast, while I roast my veggies. I'm just going to roast veggies. I did have fruit earlier, but I want some veggies with my, with my ribs. Veggies just sound so good to me. I don't know what it is. The older I get, the more I appreciate vegetables and fruit. Um... I did a song recording today that's downloaded on Star Maker, and I posted it on my Instagram this afternoon. I've been doing laundry throughout the day, and my hair is all jacked up. Oh, I don't know why. I just brushed it and everything. Um, yeah. So I'm going to read a bit, listen to, my, to the song a little more that I did a cover of, and go from there. All right, I will update you guys later. Later. It is Monday, March 4th. The time is 5.03 p.m. <clears throat> I was going to end this read-a-thong on Tuesday, but since I was so busy and I had other things personal going on, I'm going to be nice. I will extend this readathon till Saturday, which is, I can't read the calendar over there. Let me look at my phone. It's like March 9th, I think it is. March 9th. Yeah, March 9th. So it's going to end on March 9th. And that would be my read. That would be my readathon for you guys for for right now and i'm I have other contact coming it just depends on how things are going if i'm busy or things pop up i can't record so that's how things just sometimes how the cookie crumbles but um i did i am gonna update on a few things that you guys missed uh yesterday was fun i spent time with family we saw the harlem globe trotters it was fun that was my third game in my life, seeing them in person. That was pretty cool. And throughout Saturday, I, was, I started an audiobook, which is P.S. I Like You by Casey West. And within 1.5 speed, I am on chapter 9. I have 3 hours and 53 minutes left in the book. So if I listen to most of this... Throughout the week, it's going to be done before I even know it. And then I read a little bit of Killer Instinct. I read a little bit today. And then I had to go get a training done for my volunteer stuff. I am on chapter 14, page 102. Finally, I hit page 100 today. I was trying to hit it Saturday, but I had so much going on. I was making ribs. That took two hours to finish because that was my first time making ribs because I was so used to making stuff like be done like 30 minutes and it was not even close to done in 30 minutes and I looked at it I was like oh I was supposed to cook it for two hours darn it so I cook it for two hours at 
375 degrees Fahrenheit heat in the oven. And I had to make sure it was full thoroughly cooked because pork doesn't always agree with my stomach. So that's why. Um, before I make dinner, I am making chicken parmesan today. So that's exciting if I could get the chicken to thaw. Um, I'll read a little bit of Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And then when I'm cooking, I'll listen to the audiobook on my phone and go from there. I'm sorry, guys. This air has been itching like crazy today. I don't know why. I think it's just the pollen is so bad right now. My, it's, I'm hoping it's not putting me into an ear infection. And plus, I got to go treat a wound I have. So I got to take care of that because... I really don't want to see a doctor before my appointment if I don't have to. Other than that, I'm going to go read and... Oh, I just got a notification from Pinterest. I haven't get, gotten those in a long time. I'm going to go read Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and go from there. And by the way, Sonic, my doll Sonic says hello. Because Sonic came back to the video. <laughs> All right, I will update you guys later, hopefully later tonight, later tonight, because that's my goal. I got to go charge this tablet because it's about to die. All right, later. I totally got some updates for you all. It is Tuesday, March 5th. It is 6.14 p.m., and that chicken parmesan yesterday was an epic fail. The noodles were fine, the sauce, the spaghetti sauce was fine, but never again am I cooking bone chicken. Mm -mm. I was thinking, no, it's bone chicken. I'll just put it in the air fryer, it'll be done before I know it, and I'll shred up the chicken and make it like a little shredded chicken parmesan. No, that thing would not turn from pink to a good colored chicken. So I'm like, nah. So I had to think of oh, I had to think of a plan B, and I was like so mad. And then the spaghetti sauce got all over my shadow hunter's blanket. I was so ticked. So I had to do the method to get the tomato sauce off my shadow hunter's blanket, and luckily I got it off. Hopefully my shirts, my heart, my black and white heart shirt's not R.I.P. though, because it's probably was probably the worst. But I think I was more concerned of the Shadow Hunters blanket because I that was a gift, and it was a pretty expensive one. It seemed like because well, every time I try to get a Shadow Hunter merch or a guitar merch by Sarah J. Mass or and you know like the Shadow Hunters by Cassandra Clare and. Anything Sarah J. Mass or Cassandra Clare, merch-wise, I could never always afford it. So, and my mom gifted me the blanket, a Shadowhunters blanket, with a quote from the, from the Clockwork Angel trilogy. And I was like, I gotta save this blanket. And I was so happy I saved the blanket. No stains. I didn't see any. I was like, yes. All right. Book updates. I mostly been listening to the audiobook of um if I can get my phone unlocked to I've been listening to the audiobook of PS I Like You by Casey West on Audible. As of right now, I am on chapter 19, 30 seconds left of the chapter. And there's like 49 chapters. And excuse me, and I have uh two hours and fifty-two minutes left in the book. And 1.5 speed. I would say it's going to be done this week. I was hoping to start and then finish the next Casey West audiobook I have, which is The Fill-In Boyfriend. But we'll see. It's only Tuesday. I was hoping to finish that one this week too, but and start to finish, start to finish, but we'll see. Um, but worst case scenario, I could just move it up to 1.7 speed, but... It just depends where my brain is. And I don't really want to do that to my brain right now because I had a really bad migraine this morning. And I still went out and about 
but I try not to take as much medication as I can. So I have a, my little ginseng and honey tea. I don't know what it is. This tea always helps me when I have a nasty headache. And I get migraines and that is a that ginseng tea is like a lifesaver for me. So when it comes to headaches, so I had to go pick one up and if my mom sees this video. Sorry, <laughs> but she'll be okay. Um, I did read a bit today of Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I was at the library with friends and I was like, oh, I'll just bring my book with me because I don't really want to read a library book there knowing I can't check out anything because that was not part of the plan. So, and plus when I check out books, from the library, I do digital more, like Hoopla and Libby. So I just brought Killer Instincts with me. And as of right now, I am on chapter 21, I believe it is. Chapter 21, page 161. So I'll probably read more of that this evening. I was going to resume to my Sonic movie. But since I have a headache, I don't want too much sound but the audiobook right now. And I just, and last night I couldn't just sit down and read. I was trying to save my dishwasher and I thought it was broken. Well, it kind of is, but it sometimes it wants to run, sometimes it doesn't. So I finally got it to run today. So we'll see if it does the whole cycle. And we'll go, and I'll just go from there, but... I have to call somebody and get that dishwasher fixed. Because I think I still have a warranty on it. Um, yeah. Um, as of right now, I'm going to go cook some tacos. It is Taco Tuesday. So I'm going to munch on some tacos. Cook Well, cook them first and then munch on some tacos. And listen to my audiobook. And then after that, I'll read my actual book. All right, I will update you guys either later tonight, depending on how I'm feeling, or I'll update you guys again um, tomorrow on Wednesday. All right, later. Oh, oh, I forgot to add this. Before I start cooking the tacos, I got some book mail from Amazon, and I'm not showing the label side because... It's none of your beeswax to know where I live, okay? So let's open this package. And I'm going to do it down like this. Because I don't want you guys seeing the label. Because that would not be cool. And I don't want no one knowing my address publicly. And it's a book I've been waiting forever. And I pre-ordered it on Christmas. Because... I've been begging to pre-order it for a long time, been wanting to pre-order for a long time. And I got it! It's The Prisoner's Throne by Holly Black. It is the sequel to The Stolen Hair, which is like her little duology spin-off to the Folk of the Air trilogy. Oh my gosh. I gotta reread the first book of this of this duology slash series and read The Prisoner of Throne. Yes. Amazon, thank you for bringing my pre-order on time. Same day delivery. <laughs> I'm going to recycle that. And go green on the earth. Go green. Earth Day is in a month. So, um, yeah, Prisoner Throne. This is going to go next to the Stolen Hair. Because as right now, I'm reading a mystery. But this will be the next. Stolen Hair will be the next reading. And then this after... I finished my mystery book series, which is the four book series of The Naturals. All right. Um, now I can go cook my tacos. And I'm going to be doing some Instagram and threads posting on this. All right. Later. Lauren whispered something to her and Sasha laughed. Her focus changed in direction. I took a breath of relief. I looked over my shoulder so much throughout the rest of the class that finally Sasha let me know exactly how she felt about it with a rude hand gesture. I hadn't meant for her to notice. 
It is March 6, 2024. The time is 9.01 p.m. I finished my audiobook, P.S. I Like You, by Casey West. I actually really liked it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I had to think of it for a moment. Like, should I give it a 5 out of 5? Or should I give it a 4.75 out of 5 stars? So I was like thinking, I really liked this book. And it really kept me intrigued. So yeah, 5 out of 5 stars. One of the audiobooks I finished during the readathon, a uh, 5 out of 5 stars as well. I think I, the other one was a 5 out of 5 stars. I can't recall. It's been a while. Let me see. I'm going to snoop on my Goodreads while I'm airing. Airing. I mean, while I'm recording. Not airing. I'm recording. I don't... I can't think right now, guys. I'm, I'm a lot better today, but secretly I had a really bad migraine yesterday. And once I got off the video... I was a disaster. I couldn't record. I was not feeling my greatest. So I had to go to sleep. So uh, the last one was a... No, that one was a uh, four out of five. The, so this is the first... So P.S. I Like You is the first five out of five star read for the read thong So that's actually pretty good. I got two books down. Two books down. Because audiobooks do count. If you guys don't think that, audiobooks do count. I did make a little a bit of progress today on Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I am on oh, I am on chapter 26, page 197. Yeah, that's my updates. And I started another audiobook. Let me see if I can. Load my Audible without any internet trouble. Because usually at night my internet's a bit blah. So I am right now listening to The Fill and Boyfriend. Also written by Casey West. And it, I'm only on chapter 2. Because I just finished P.S. I Like You today on the car ride to the grocery store. And the car ride back to the house. So... Yeah, um... The Phil and Boyfriend was more like when I was, like, moving around slowly, trying to figure out what I need to do and get things done and all that stuff. And then I'll do it tomorrow for some cardio workout. Yeah. I'd, like, listen to more during, well, listen more during cardio workout. I don't think I'm going to get it done tomorrow because I have, like, four hours and 12 minutes left on the book. In 1.5 speed. But if it was the regular speed. It'd be like 6 hours and something minutes. So. Um, yeah. That's my update for the night. I just want to let you guys know. I'm okay. I get my grains from time to time. It's nothing new for me. It. It's been. I've always had my grains since I was a, a, a little girl. You know. it's. I don't think it's ever going to go away. But. It was my first one in a long time. I think my last one was like early September of 2023. And I had like a minor one in October of 2023. But my last major one was September 2023. So about six months. It took about six months for another major one to pop up. So yeah. I'm okay though. So I'm going to read Killer Instinct before I go to bed tonight. And I'm going to feed my Snorlax before I turn on my sleep study for Pokemon Sleep. And also, like all my health guru friends are telling me, drink lots of water. This is a flavored water. I put some flavor in it. So I'll drink this, drink more water before I go to bed, and go from there. All right. I'm going to read Killer Instincts, and I will in update you guys sometime tomorrow. All right? Later. It is Friday, March 8th. The time is 7.20 p.m. I made some progress in Killer Instincts by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Oops, I dropped the book on the bed. I am on page 
264, chapter 35. So 264, chapter 35. And I made progress in my audiobook of the Phil and Boyfriend. I'm on chapter 34. Out of chapter 39, I have 31 minutes and 6 seconds left of this book. I will probably resume this tomorrow when I'm doing some cleaning. And then I'll probably maybe start another if I want to do some organization. I haven't decided because I, I want to reorganize my bookshelf a little bit. I want to reorganize both. Do a little spring cleaning. And I don't think I have donations for books this spring spring or anything. But I do have... Um, I just want to reorganize everything. Maybe I had everything in series order, but I don't know if I'm still going to keep it that way or go by or go by author's uh, last name. I haven't decided. Yeah, because I could have done author's first name, but I feel like it, I could do... One or the other, but I feel like author's first name might be easier. Or do first and last name since even though Sarah J. Mass is like a big author, there's like Sarah Raj, there's Sarah Dessen, there's for uh how can I word this? Then there's Sally Green, but then you also have John Green, but they're not, e I don't think they're even related, which they're not. So, um, yeah, I might just do the first name in alphabetical order. But if they have the same first name, go by their first name and last name. And then, and then go from there. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna... Well, before I make an announcement, I want to show you who's with me. It's my buddy, Lucy. It's one of my babies, my little pooch, my buddy. Hi, huh, Lucy. Hi, huh, girl. <laughs> she gives a lot of the kisses. She does. She's just like, get the camera away from me. <laughs> Wait, you want, are you not really camera shy? Are you trying to show us? Like she's trying to show us all. Oh, she just wants attention. Well, I'm going to give this pooch attention. I'm going to read Killer Instincts by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and go from there. Other than that, I'll update you guys later. Oh, oh my goodness. Did I pet you too much? All right. I'll update you guys later. Later. It is 10.36. I have... Read a bit of Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is usually my bedtime. I am on page 283. So what I'm going to do, if I can reach it all the way over here, I'm going to read myself to sleep tonight with this little reading lamp a little bit, and I'm going to hit the hay. I want to finish that chapter or so before I go to sleep. So, yeah, that's my update for tonight. And I'll give you more updates tomorrow on the final day. And as of right now, good night. It is 9.03 a.m. Saturday, March 9th. Hello everyone, good morning. I am still kind of waking up, so it's gonna take me a minute. I'm gonna go have some breakfast, have some coffee, and listen to my audiobook and go from there a little bit. And then maybe read a little more but I do need to get ready for the days first before I do anything else. So, but I'll decide what I'm gonna do once I'm fully awake. I have very weird dreams. It was so weird, but 
I've had weirder dreams before, so as long as they're not nightmares. But there was one nightmare I had. It was like I um was eating a yogurt and it had peanut butter cups with my friends in the dream not knowing I'm allergic to peanut butter, even though in real life they know I'm allergic to peanuts. So, yeah. Um, that was kind of weird. And then the dream was telling them, my back is itching, my back is itching. <laughs> and I woke up like, oh my gosh. That was scary. But now, I can just start my day. All right, I'm going to go have some breakfast and go from there. All right, later, guys. It is now 1.19 p.m. I finished listening to The Fillin' Boyfriend by uh, Casey West, and I gave it a three out of five stars. I thought it was okay, but I didn't really love it, and it wasn't one of my favorites. Um... The, how can I word this? Like, I thought it was just okay. The story was okay. I just didn't like that the main character was being a snob. And I cannot stand snobby personalities. So, yeah. um, That got a three out of Five stars. It's probably so far the least favorite of this read a thong, and today's the last day of the read a thong, too. So I am gonna go back to physical reading for a bit while I do some laundry, and I um, then I go to cleaning and I'll listen to another audiobook a little bit before the end of this read a thong and go from there. And then I'll do some more, a few more updates before ending late tonight, and we'll go from there. All right? Other than that, I will update you guys later. Later. It is 9.41 p.m. I kind of have to be quiet because some people in the home are asleep. And the dogs are asleep, so I don't want to disturb them. And I've... Um, what's the word? I, um, I'm sorry, my brain is out of it. I've had a long day. I, um, make some progress in Killer Instincts by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm gonna see if I can finish this tonight before I go to sleep. I probably may not finish this by the end of the readathon. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. I'm on page 316, chapter 41. Out of 49 chapters is when I have like nine chapters to go. So we'll see. The time is almost 10 o'clock. So usually I get tired around 1030-ish. Latest is like midnight for me, depending. And I started a new audiobook, which I will definitely not finish this readathon because according to the 1.5 speed, and I don't like playing audiobooks this late, is... um. I am, I have five hours and 37 minutes in it. I'm on chapter five and it's the audiobook Some Girls Do by Jennifer Dugan. And I'm actually pretty much, I'm pretty much I am liking it, surprisingly. It seems pretty good. It's got a good story start to it. So I'm in the beginning of the book, so no spoilers. I know it's been out for two years or almost two years. Wait, no, I take that back. It's been out for two and a half years, but almost three years. I'll have to look at the release date to make that official. Um, But I know it came out sometime in 2021. Um, Before I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to listen. I'm going to not listen. I'm going to read more of Killer Instincts before the next update and go from there. All right. Going to read. Later. It is 11.25 p.m. 
I read a little bit of Killer Instincts, but not enough to be like 50 pages. I am exhausted a little bit, and it's a little, it's really past my bedtime, so I should probably get some sleep or try to get some sleep. I had fun on this readathon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys again soon. If you want to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe down below. And you can follow more content coming in the future. You can press the notification bell and go from there. All right. See you all again soon. Bye.